James. And what I'm looking at is thinking about getting a hyperstar for my 8 inch telescope. The question is, it's, I've read a lot online and they say that you can't use a DSLR in front of the 8 inch on the hyperstar. But a few people have said they've used it and have no problem. So I'm going to run a few experiments and by no means is that conclusive but I'm just throwing the question out if anybody's ever had it and used it uh, is it possible now you can't even get an 8 inch Hyperstar with a Canon or Nikon DSLR anyway you can only get the Canon uh, M series which is their mirrorless version or you can get the Sony E uh, mount which is their mirrorless system and that's because the body is smaller um, so I'm going to run a few experiments and see if obviously I can't use a hyperstar and see it that way but I'm going to look through the other end and uh, see if I see any difference if there's going to be any black, blacked out or is, you know, is, is it affecting the image on this side and if it does then obviously it's going to affect the image on this side so the first image is without any camera in front of it. Now we're going to see an image with my mirrorless camera. So I cut out this piece of cardboard, I uh, put where the lens would be right in the middle and line that up. So this image is showing what it should look like if the camera was there. As you can see it's darkened down a little bit but you're not seeing any major obstruction or anything. Now I'm going to show now I'm going to use the the cap and go halfway down covering half of the lens. It is darker but you can still see an image. And now I'm going to use the cap and I'm going to go three-fourths of the way down covering uh, 75 to 80 percent of it and obviously at that point you can start seeing that it is uh, obstructing the image and it's way darker. 